Hi guys, Recap Prince here. Today I'm going to explain a 2014 movie called Flowers in the Attic based on the novel of the same title. Before we begin make sure to support our channel by subscribing. Might include some spoilers so watch out. The story is set in 1940s in Pennsylvania. Corey and Christopher is happily married with their children. Chris is playing with his brother in the garden. They seem to be a happy family. Kathy is crying to her dad telling him some problem that she's encountering. At the party the police arrived at their home to inform them that Corey's husband had died. Corey is so devastated and she don't know what to since she doesn't have work and money to support her children. Kathy talked to her mom and told her that she needs to pay some fees and Corey said that she will find a way so that they can get through this difficult times. Bills also keeps coming in and yet Corey doesn't have a means to pay for all of it. Corey talked to her children about planning to move to their grandparents that's the only way she can support her children if they will live to their grandparents' house. They all agree and decided to go and move to their grandparents' house. Olivia their grandmother welcomed them and instruct them on what they can do and what they cannot do on the house. Olivia makes sure to instruct her grandchildren about the rules and regulations of the house. Olivia said that the two sibling Kathy and Chris cannot be in the same room and that Chris needs to transfer to another room. Corey disagreed and got mad so they had arguments. Corey explains to Kathy what is that all about. What's the rules being strictly implemented in the house? Corey's children seems to understand the situation even their grandmother is showing unpleasant attitude towards them. Corey went out and let the children just stay in the room and not allowing them to play outside as some people might see them. While playing in the room, they become noisy and their grandmother rushed to their room to tell them the regulations and that they need to make sure not to make any noise. Their grandfather didn't know that they live in the house so Corey and their grandmother Olivia decided to hide the children in the attic. The children went to attic and clean it also Chris made a swing for his older brother to play with. They able to clean the attic and Corey visited them and while talking the noise becomes louder so Olivia rushed to tell them to be quiet and not make any noise. Corey one of the twin got irritated and shouted and Olivia get mad and tell the children what will happen if they didn't follow the rules. Olivia told Corey to take off her clothes and the children are shocked to see lashes from their mother's back. It was a punishment that Corey received if she didn't obey. The next morning Corey explained to her children about her wound and scar and she also told them that their grandmother is claustrophobic and she explains about incest that happened to their family that's why they need to be hidden because her dad didn't know about them. She explained that they need to hide until she can get her name back on her dad's will. Kathy is decorating the attic when her grandmother visited them also Olivia telling Kathy about incest that she and her brother is doing. Kathy can't believe what her grandmother is telling her. Because of what happened Olivia give Kathy a flowers and seem sorry for what she did. Corey then visited her children and bring some paint and decorations that they can use to decorate the attic. Kathy and Chris on the roof on the attic when they talk about what's happening on their family. They're planning also about the holiday that's coming so they decided to make a surprise for their grandmother. 
Holiday is coming so they are preparing. They went to dress properly and get ready for some surprise for their grandmother. Also they created a big greeting card for their grandmother. Olivia visited them and bring some food after seeing the card that Kathy is holding she just leave. Kathy is so disappointed that her grandmother didn't appreciate their effort. Corey visited her children in the attic and told them about the party that's going to happen in the house. Kathy asked her mother if they can come to the party. Corey agreed that Kathy and Chris can sneak to the party but make sure no one will see them, they need to be hidden. The party started and Kathy and Chris were in nice clothes. They saw their grandfather giving their mom a beautiful necklace as a gift. They keep hiding at the party so no people can know that they are there. The people at the party is so happy and enjoying the night. Kathy and Chris saw their mom flirting with a guy on the party. They heard the things the guy said that he wants to settle with Corey and live with her and be happy. Because of disappointments Kathy go back to her bed in the attic while Chris is still roaming the house. house. Corey visited the attic and can't find Chris that's why she gets mad. The next morning, while having breakfast, Corey said sorry to the children, telling them to forgive her for what she did. She explains that it's the only way that she can get her name back on the will of her father. Chris and his siblings seems to understand their mom and hug her. In the roof, Chris is thinking about hormones when Kathy saw him. Kathy is trying to wear the undergarments her mom gave her when Olivia arrived and saw Chris doing some incest activities. Olivia about to cut Kathy's hair as punishment, but she let Chris do it instead. Chris told her mom what happened. In the bathtub Chris is helping his sister Kathy cut her hair when suddenly looking at her sister's shoulder he get aroused. Chris then continue to cut Kathy hair and they dance and play in the attic, they stumble on bed and had some sweets moments when twins arrived and talked to them. Chris and Kathy managed to escape the attic by using a rope to get down. Chris take off his clothes and they went swimming and had fun together. Thinking about their future they in the attic and they decided to make it a pet. Corey visited them at the attic and had arguments with the children because Chris and Kathy are so fed up of hiding in the attic. Corey tried to explain to them that it's for their own good. Olivia visited the children and bring some burgers. Corey eats the burger right away. Chris and Kathy are talking about the plans on escaping the house when they saw some men putting a fence. Olivia saw Cafe and Chris and bring Chris to punishment with Slash on his back. While Kathy is helping his brother heal the wound she feels something and they kiss each other and get intimate. Kathy and Chris did something wrong, but for Chris the most important for now is that they can escape the house and to live freely outside. He got a duplicate key and tell Kathy about his plan. They plan to rob the house they went down to go to the bedrooms to find cash and some jewelry that they can use once they get out. They roam each room possible to get valuables that they can use. Kathy enter a room and saw a man sleeping then she kiss him. Chris hear the man saying to Corey that in his dream a blonde girl kiss him. Chris knows what happened that it was Kathy so he gets angry and confronted Kathy. 
He told Chris that he loved her sister so much after hearing it Kathy also fell for her brother and they started to kiss and get intimate. They sleep in one bed and do that thing with each other. Corey visited her children and slapped Kathy and Kathy also slaps her mom, telling her mom that she will expose her secret if she will not let bring Corey to the hospital. Corey came back to tell her children that one of the twin just died. Corey died and didn't make it. Because of what happened to their siblings Chris and Corey decided to continue with the plan on escaping from the house so they gather all the money and valuable they get in preparation for the escape. Chris get into another room and get some cash and valuables rushing to get back to attic Oliva saw them about to leave and they almost fight. Chris kneeled down to please his grandmother when he right away handed the key to Kathy to escape. Olivia tried to stop them and she also told the children that it was their mom who put poison to the burger that leads to the death of Corey, one of the twin. Siblings managed to get down from the attic, but a butcher point them a gun telling them to stop, but when they explained that they are the children of Corey, the butcher helped them escape from the house. On the last scene Chris and Kathy together, with one of the twin they are riding a train. After escaping Kathy is looking at the window of the train and she's planning to get revenge on her mother. Do you like our story? Do you think brother and sister can live happily as a couple? Can Kathy revenge to her mom? Comment your thoughts below. Also comment which part of the movie is your favorite? Like and subscribe to support our channel. Thank you for watching Recap Prince.